Indigenous people from tribes across the country have descended on Fort Collins for the weekend. And they're living as their ancestors did on land that belonged to their ancestors to raise issues and awareness and about the discrimination that they still face. Here is Denver 7's Rob Harris. On most days, the land where the CSU Hughes Stadium once stood is vacant. But this weekend, it'll be full of tents and teepees and community. It's beautiful in its own way. It's sparse, it's here and there, but nobody's taken care of it, yet it survives. Ever since Hughes was demolished, tribal elders have called on leaders with the city of Fort Collins and CSU to return the land to the Native Americans who had had it long before it was claimed by white settlers. We're trying to see what, you know, you, CSU is intending to do with it perhaps, or at least send our voices. The tension reached a head last year when a sweat lodge erected by Native Americans was removed by city workers. Since then though, there's been healing and the event this weekend called the reemergence encampment has the green light from the city. Participants come from many Native American tribes wanting to reconnect with their roots and to raise awareness of the issues they say our society is overlooking, like care for the environment and recognition of the generational trauma their people have faced. Starting from the moment we started getting colonized, there's been a lot of trauma and no one's like actually been willing to help Native children or Native adults and it causes a lot more drug and alcohol addictions and causes suicides. A lot of people there when I tell them I'm Native American they're like y'all still exist so it, it's it's upsetting but at the same time it's I mean it's reality. The Native Americans here hope the harmony with each other and with the land and with the city of Fort Collins continues and that this reemerges encampment will reemerge for years to come. I'm hoping that this kind of what we're doing here um, spreads awareness into what we're doing and people realize that we're still we're still here and we still are thriving even though that not a lot of people see us in fort collins rob harris denver seven